we're going to look at another dead tree. This, this is a um, old Melophagus morii. I'd say it's been dead for quite a while. But even as a dead tree, it's performing an incredibly important function in the forest, providing a substrate, again, for a whole range of um, ferns, vascular epiphytes, um, and, of course, the um, mosses, liverworts and lichens. It's also providing a substrate, yet again, for germination of seeds from other um, uh, nothophagus that are shedding their seeds or just have in the last um, couple of weeks. Um, in fact, this, this type of flora is an asplenium, a small fern. This type of flora is typical of very cool wet forests in southern Australia, even though we're on the mid-north coast at the moment. Um, and uh, from the work that we've recently completed again with Alison Downing, uh, we've identified approximately 300 different uh, mosses and lichens in the rainforests just in this park alone. Um, a number of them are new to science and a number of them have very interesting biogeographical links. Some of them occur at Werekimbi, uh, Lord Howe Island in New Zealand, or Werekimbi, Lord Howe Island in New Caledonia. Um, some of them occur um, in Australia only in the Blue Mountains, only in Werekimbi and only in Lamington National Park. So this is almost like a, a classic um, biogeographic stepping stone between um, similar habitats, but habitats that are separated by not only hundreds of kilometres of land, but in some time, in, in other instances, um, hundreds or thousands of kilometres of sea. These tiny plants have a, a phenomenal capacity to uh, uh, distribute themselves, disperse. Um, often it's just tiny, tiny fragments, tiny fragments like this, little tiny piece can be moved around, perhaps on an animal, it's back, just pop it back there. Um, but more commonly, presumably, uh, the, the spores, um, which are you know, micron in size, they will just disperse, drift in the wind, and um, they'll move in the circulation, circu circulation system across continents and potentially across oceans as well. So they do get around. But interestingly, we, ha we also have a number of species here that are only known in Australia from this national park in these very ancient um, Gondwan and rainforest environments. So they're pretty special places for, for plant conservation, um, and certainly the conservation of this, this sort of cool temperate um, rainforest association.